I just spilled a bunch of the nail polish remover. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Derek from Derek's Horror Stuff, and today I'm going to be attempting to remove the personalization from this autograph using nail polish remover and toilet paper. Now, before I jump into the video, I just have to give a special shout out to my patrons. Click the link in the description below to become a patron today and have your name featured in the beginning of all my newest videos. Now, without further ado, let's jump into it. All right guys, so let's test this out. This is gonna be the first time I've ever done this and it's gonna be on a pretty expensive piece. So here I've got a piece of toilet paper. I have the nail polish remover and I've got some Q-tips and that's how we're gonna try this out today. Everybody wish me the best of luck here. So as I mentioned, some of these personalizations here bleed pretty far into the autograph and this one is on the cardboard. So I don't know if I can get that one off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to start with this Captain Spaulding one here because that's so far away from the other autographs that if something does happen, I'll be a little bit more prepared. So I'm going to start really, really small here. I'm putting just a little bit on here and let's see what happens. It's a little risky and I'm going to try not to hit anything else. So, so far, nothing when I do that. Oh, wait, it is coming off. So actually, oh, it is moving now. I want to be gentle because I really don't want to up the plastic, though. Now I'm worried that I f***ed up the plastic a little bit. It's coming off. But at what cost, you know? Take a small piece of toilet paper. I just spilled a bunch of the nail polish remover. Crisis averted, because it only spilled a little bit on the floor. So I will have to just clean that up. But let's get back to this here and see if I'm making things better or worse. All right, so this is leaving a bit of a mark. And there's definitely ghosting there. So that's not good. Ghosting is uh, when you can still see an imprint of the marker or paint pen because of how long the autograph was there on the original surface. So I'm gonna grab some water and see if I could do anything with this. All right, so I've got some water here. Not a lot, just a little bit. Enough that I'm gonna try to see if I dip something in it if it will help clean this up. So I'm taking just a little bit on the Q-tip. Even that is probably like too much. Mm. It's not really helping. Let's try with just water and see if this helps. All right, so just water is not gonna do it. So basically the uh, nail polish remover is working it's just that, like I said, it's kind of leaving a little bit of a residue and a little bit of a ghosting on the box. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try with a little bit more here, just a little bit. I'm gonna go real light with it because it appears that it just takes a second for it to work once you get it on there. And it's just Sharpie, so I mean, overall, it's really not that bad. But it's like I said, the ghosting and the residue is where it really starts to concern me a little bit. Obviously, nobody wants a big sloppy, you know, spot on their, uh, their items. Yeah, it's still there when you look close at it. Now, I mean, I've already gone this far with it. So it's just kind of like, now I'm just messing with it to see if I can get anything out of it. And like I said, I'm no expert at this guy, so please do not trust what I'm doing here because this is just a first time attempt. This is a very high-end piece that I'm messing with. And uh, 
you know, at the end of the day, I'm probably going to be mad at myself for doing it. But, you know, I would also be mad at myself if I didn't try. So, kind of a double-edged sword. Now, I have one other thing I want to try. This is one other technique. This worked for me on my Devil's Rejects poster. So, I want to try it on here. So, give me one second. I'm going to grab it. All right, so I got one other thing I want to try here. And I have a Expo dry erase marker. And this previously worked on my poster, so... Let's see if you get the same effect on something like this. So basically what you're supposed to do is just kind of draw it out in circles. And then ideally, you'd be able to just wipe it away. And it seems to be working. Actually, this might work better than the nail polish remover. Use a Q-tip. Be gentle there, because I'm getting a little close to the other autograph. Yeah, honestly, doing it that way seems to be the best. I'm going to see if I go over this if it helps at all. May as well give it a shot. All right, it didn't really help with what I had already done, which makes sense. I can't expect it to. Um, doing it with the nail polish remover, Probably a really bad move. I would not recommend doing it that way as I am learning. I also don't know how safe acetone is to the plastic on the box. So I am possibly uh, messing with the integrity of the box by doing all of this. So I'm just kind of trying to wipe anything off there uh, that can still be on there. We may not have got it perfect with the Sid Haig. But man, it doesn't look too bad. If you can't, if you're not able to see the ghosting in the in the glare, uh, it actually looks really good. So now that we're trying this marker tip, let's move on to something a little bit more difficult. Let's try this one right here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just start a little slower. Just do a little bit at a time here. This one's a little bit trickier because we're getting very close to the autograph. Guys, this is definitely the way to go about it though. Because now this is not showing any uh, ghosting. This is excellent. This is the this is the way I should have gone about it to begin with. Definitely should have tested this on something cheaper first, but I didn't. So guys, please, if you're gonna do this, do not make the same mistake I did. This is where it gets a little tricky. Because we're starting to get very close to the name. I have to be very gentle when I do this now. I don't care if I nick the other stuff, but last thing I want to do is mess up these names and these inscriptions here. This also has a uh, very cool inscription on it from Priscilla Barnes, and I would very much prefer to keep that if I'm able to. Wow, guys, that that left no ghosting. That came right off. That's ideal. That is the way to do it. So that one is looking pretty good. I wish I didn't do that with Captain Spaulding, but again, you know, what are you going to do? So this one's going to get hard because this is part of Tom Jr. And so is this. So obviously I'll just do this part first and of go from there. And again, I'm just being very gentle. I'm going in circles. Trying not to overwork it too much because again, this is at the end of the day, this is very fragile plastic, it's very old. It's been around for a while. I mean, this thing has a bunch of signatures on it and I'm imagining that the person would have got them from conventions. So then you have to factor in all the walking around they did, all the banging around this got. So I have to be very gentle here, so. Bring out the Q-tip. 
Q-tip might be too big for what I'm going to have to do down at the bottom there. You know, I'm glad you guys could be with me on this journey because it's very scary. I guess I've never done this. I did this with autographed, you know, prints before. And honestly, even they were a little hit or miss. So, uh, I'm trying to be very, very gentle here. It's tough because you got to get the little pieces sometimes. All right, so now the question is going to be, how do I get that? So, let's get a fresh Q-tip here. I have to just be really, really gentle here. I might have to leave a little bit of it. Now, I mean, if an expert were ever to look at this, I'm sure they'd be like, oh, it, it was personalized and then the personalization was removed. Like I've seen that on Pawn Stars before. <laughs> they call in an expert and they're like, well, there was a personalization here. Did somebody remove that? Because you could tell by the way I just did that, that the line shouldn't end like that. But again, I mean, this is, this is like more for me than anything else. I understand all my pieces are investments at the end of the day. So I could possibly mess something up with that investment by doing something like this. But at the same time, I really hate looking at other people's names. It's right up to there. Kind of try to clean it up a little bit. I don't want to get too carried away because I have a tendency to do that. And then I go too far. So that looks pretty good if you ask me. I can't see anything in the glare either, so it's got to be pretty decent. So now we got this one up here. This one doesn't look too difficult. Um, it looks easier than the one we just did. It's oddly going to be a little bit strange because it's in red and so is my Expo marker. I can't really tell what's coming off and what has not come off. Because it's all just red. I'm also trying very hard not to uh, lean my arm on the other autographs right now. So that's coming off pretty good. I think I'm going to just go through with these letters and then try to get the little spots next. Obviously, like I said, main concern is just trying not to uh, affect these other autographs in any way, shape or form. I know a lot of people with this dry erase trick, they would also do it a little bit slower than I'm doing. Um, I just have a problem like most people where I get impatient. And so I have a tendency to go a little far out when I probably shouldn't. It's probably gonna be the death of me, but I do it anyway. Guys, the way that this is working, though, is crazy. I'm so mad at myself that I didn't start with this marker. Because I had obviously no idea how well it would work. But now that I'm seeing it in action, I just kind of went in blind before. So now it's going to get a little tough. Very difficult to do the red on red right now. The good news about this technique though is if you haven't hit, you know, part of it with the pen already, with the marker already, it's usually not gonna just smear right off. So that's the plus side. Okay, that looks pretty good. And uh, that's all three on the plastic. Um, this one, like I said, I'm not going to attempt that. I don't know what to do 
to get that off if I can. I don't think that I can, so I don't want to attempt it. I already got a little too carried away with the Captain Spaulding. Um, but let me show you guys another angle so you can see what this looks like. All right, so here's how I see it from my angle. So there's the one that was in red. Can't really tell anything was there. Sid Haig, like I said, when you look at it from here, you can't tell those inscriptions were there. At least I can't. I don't know about you guys. Uh, except, obviously, this one. But, you know, like I said, I don't know how to get rid of that. So I think it looks pretty good. Now, if I could see if I could show you in the light. We're almost there. There's like a ghosting when you go over Spalding. The camera doesn't want to focus on it because it's so tricky to see. I think you could see it there. Um, Tom Jr. There it is. So that kind of sucks. I don't know if I have a way to get around that now that I did that with the fingernail polish remover. But everything else looks spot on. So if I could just find a way to fix that, we'd be golden. So let me know what you guys think. Um, like I said, if you want to try this, try it out. Don't take my word for it, though, because I am no expert, as you can tell. But I do think it looks a little bit better now. So let me know what you think. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Leave a comment below. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.